I'm delighted, delighted to be talking about this amazing series, which, man, the, the chemistry with you and Tom and, and riding the line of drama and comedy is striking, dude. It's really, really cool to watch. Now, were you not that familiar with the Marvel Universe pre-getting into this thing? No, I wasn't that familiar. And um, we've kind of talked about that Tom was very kind of generous and kind of walking me through all the, the kind of movies and specifically his character. And that actually was, we kind of called it the Loki school and um, with Tom as the professor. And uh, that was very helpful for my character because I'm supposed to be kind of an expert on Loki. Do you get extra brownie points as a dad for being part of a show like this? Or, or is it just like, do the kids overlook this type of stuff? I think that it's gonna be, yeah, definitely gonna get your street cred is gonna come up when you're a part of the Marvel Universe. You're working with the God of Mischief, right? What kind of stuff are you gonna get roped into that you didn't wanna be a part of? Well, of course, when you're with the God of Mischief, uh, you gotta be ready for uh, the unexpected. And I think that Loki, you know, kind of, he definitely keeps my character on his toes, but having sort of been, um, you know, studied him and uh, prepared for this meeting, uh, I'm, I'm pretty adept at being ready for his kind of tricks. But uh, of course, you can't always prepare for everything that Loki's gonna throw at you. Are you taking me somewhere to kill me? No, that's where you just were. I'm taking you someplace to talk. Well, I don't like to talk, but you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. I imagine you're having a blast uh, playing along, along Tom, are you not? Yeah, we really, um, I think it was, you know, you never know how you're gonna sort of get along working with somebody. And I think it was really, um, you know, the whole cast, but um, so much of my stuff was with Loki and I, it was just, um, I, I think we did good stuff. Do we have a chance of seeing some of the other wonderful characters from the universe pop up? Uh, can you give us anything, a little bit of a tease throughout the season of Loki? There's always a chance uh, that something could pop up, but um, I think that one of the nice things about, um, you know, people are kind of very familiar with this Loki character is that there's gonna be some kind of new uh, aspects to Loki and seeing some kind of new colors that he's playing that I think that people are gonna be excited to see. Let's switch gears a little bit. I want to talk the Royal Tenenbaums, dude. The 20th anniversary, that's kind of like hard to, to wrap your head around. Well, everyone knows Custer died at Little Bighorn. What this book presupposes is maybe he didn't. I think we're going to do some sort of anniversary um, Zoom thing. What I remember was being in New York and, uh, of course, Gene Hackman as Royal, but just kind of a great cast in that movie. and working with Ben Stiller again and my brother. It turned out very well. Talk to me, the other uh, upcoming film of yours everybody's excited about, Marry Me with the uber-talented J-Lo. You guys together seems like a damn no-brainer to me. It seems perfect. What was that like for you? Her character was great kind of because she's doing a lot of singing and uh, we really had a good cast, Maluma and uh, a lot of good people in it. We had worked together on Anaconda, so uh, it was nice to, uh, to sort of meet up with Jen after all these years and work on Marry Me. And um, I think that that movie turned out pretty well. 